Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers and we're sitting inside of Drift. This is going to be the vehicle that takes Mark and Don on a really neat full-timing adventure. This is the first time I'm inter going to introduce three generations full-timing and traveling together. Now, this came to be because of Don's dream. Don shared with me today that she told Mark that she wanted to travel. And what's happened is Mark and Don's family have decided to uh, take up their dream as well. And I'd like to introduce you to Don and Mark and hear about what they plan to do on their trip and their travels and their adventure across the United States. Don, did I get it right? <laughs> you were the one who started this whole adventure, really. Didn't it start with your idea to get a, get a trailer and travel? Well, a year ago, we took our eight-year-old granddaughter and our our youngest child, which is a daughter. We took them both on a trip with us, and it was just an amazing experience. And we came back, and we said, we need to do more of this. And we have now seven grandchildren, so we hope to include all of them at some point in the travel. But three, for sure, will be going with us quite often. Well, you're following them. Actually, we are. Yeah, they, they've set up their own yeah. puller, their own fifth wheel, yeah. garage in the back that's going to be converted to the girls' room, right? The yeah. girls' bedroom. So the reality is is that uh, all of our kids are going through some phase of life changes right now with jobs and directions that they want to go in their lives. We have seven grandkids. Our daughter is not married yet. She She's uh, moving possibly in that direction as far as we know. And so... When we were talking to our younger son, his wife, and three daughters about what we're doing, and uh, they wanted to do some travel, they're always uh, the type that commits to what they do. So they said, you know what? We think we want to be a full-timing family. And, uh, and it took them two or three weeks. We had quite a bit of discussion about it, and they decided to bite the bullet. And, and they went uh, remarkably f fast since discussions in January of this year. They now, as of this week, have their houses, they're out of their house, they have their trailer, they have their truck, uh, they're pulling with an with a MDT, and they're working within their budget to do what they're doing. And uh, and they're basically, of, uh, on the end of this month, their house will be sold. So they move fast. I've never heard anybody doing it in four months, but they've done it. We, we still have a house to liquidate eventually and things like that, a lot more stuff. Don, what do you want to do? What do you want to experience and do in your travels? Well, I'd love to see more of the United States. I grew up in the Midwest, Kansas, and I've never been west, really not much. To, we've traveled in Colorado a little bit, so I'd love to be with the grandkids when they see like Yellowstone or Grand Canyon, because those are things I've never experienced either. So just to see the world through their eyes is an amazing experience no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. Mark, what are, you, what are you planning to do? Wash and wax, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> dump, do the dump tanks. That kind of stuff. You know. Well, we're all having fun. <laughs> no, I think we really don't have, and I, I'm joking, because we really don't have any Hardened plans. No. Actually, to go see family is our first. Actually, seeing extended family, mm -hmm. the fourth generation. Yep, we. It's a part of our plan. I think you know initially the plan is is where the kids go in their full time adventure. We're going to head out with them, so we're going to run parallel. Some of that is for uh, ease of use for both of us, so we can help each other out learning the ropes. Uh, but then I'm sure there'll be, we'll be, we have kids in other places, so we'll be getting to see them and family. Mm -hmm. So no hardened plans other than that's what it's all about is just to kind of make your schedule as you go. Mm -hmm. So we'll take it as it comes. But uh, we want to have the right equipment to start with, and that's what we've been focused on. Tell me about the fifth wheel that you chose. Well, you know, we have RVing experience with the kids growing up. We've never done it as serious as this. So I don't consider myself as an expert to know, you know, everything we would want to. So we chose to purchase a DRV, mobile suites, and uh, you know, we worked through uh, Mike Mitchell at Newa in uh, Chinook, Kansas, and he's been 
RVing for 40 years and he's owned a manufacturing company. He now has dealerships and I used his experience as to what we should have and uh, he, he helped us get the units. So we didn't go custom build one, so we feel comfortable with what we're doing right now. If we want to build one in the future, we'll have that op option, which is what we like about the, uh, the RV hauler as a tow vehicle. You can change the floor plan out without having to change out the whole system. Mm -hmm. So that's our strategy right now. Uh, and so we're going to be picking that up after we leave here. It's down in Chinook, Kansas, and we're in Sioux Falls, South Dakota right now. And uh, that's our next stop. Then we got to figure out how to hook it all up and get it home. To turn around and leave again. Don, can you tell me, you know, you, you've watched Mark talking to me a whole lot on the phone and <laughs> through email. Um, how was the process for you? How was your comfort level with what you ended up with? Well, it's it's amazing. It, it's it's you can watch video and think you know what it looks like, but to actually see it, it's just it's it's amazing. Every detail you you've given such attention to detail, <clears throat> which is very important to Mark. He's a real detail guy, and I knew from hearing him talk with you that you were that kind of a person and I knew that would be really helpful to him to have somebody that gave great attention to detail and listen to what he wanted. Mm -hmm. So I think my experience has been good because his experience was good. I knew he was feeling comfortable and that was the important thing because he's the one that's going to be doing the driving and the hard stuff. It's not so difficult. I'm Mark. along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Mark, would you have other advice for people that are thinking about a RV hauler and a fifth wheel? Well, it's a pretty broad subject, but uh, you know, in regards to the transaction specifically with with what you build, I wouldn't have any apprehension whatsoever. And it's been said before: this isn't you know we're not a, a early adopter of this. This is a proven process that you've got, and you've got a lot of customers that have gone down this path before so we've learned from them but I wouldn't have no a apprehension whatsoever on going down the path for us the combination of a tow vehicle a fifth wheel and carrying a smart car in our case seems to be the right thing to do uh, something different too so it's some adventure involved with that um, you know a lot of people go class A I think the majority of the market to go full-time probably go a class A route uh, and there's nothing wrong with that we feel comfortable doing this. We have been in Class A, by the way, before uh, for uh, vacations and such. So I think we, you know, we weighed it all out. And we thought that the uh, fifth wheel afforded us the, the most flexibility, and we think comfort. So that was a big piece of it: travel comfort. Mark, I had a I had a great time doing the delivery with you. That was. Mm -hmm. I think I'd like to do that again. It, it worked great. Uh, it worked out quite well having you come up to our shop doing mm -hmm. the training up there right and then hitting the road together I mean it's kind of nice to have company yeah I've never had that before mm -hmm. uh, other than Evan has gone with me sure. sometimes but being able to tell a few stories and learn a little bit more and understanding where you're coming from and where you're gonna go and travel it's awesome yep yeah we ran across a few characters here and there yes we did and, we, fun. and most importantly we didn't get ourselves in trouble <laughs> We're too old to get in trouble. <laughs> We're sedate now. We're RV, full-time RVers. They don't get into trouble. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, we did it all over again. I enjoyed it much. Great. Well, Mark, Don, thank you for your business. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. We and Mark, I, I know we're going to have lots of path crossings in the future mm. here. Hope so. Uh, at some rallies, I hope and and also just on the phone and making sure we stay in contact. I thank you both for your business and boy I can't wait to see where you where those grandkids take you. We can't either. <laughs> thank you.